What is up guys? Bringing you a little different video here today. It is about After Pulse and I just want to go over basically all the weapons in the game. And so right here you're looking at the wiki that I've put together slowly over time. You know I got a lot of cool ideas to bring to this but really don't have much free time to spend on it so progress has been a lot slower than I'd like it to be but anyways right now I'm just going to show you the wiki quick links page so if you go to my website and link will be in the description as always and this is the wiki homepage. I mean pretty bland it's it's as basic as it gets but these are groupings these are pages and if you go to wiki quick links Got uh, my Facebook page here, Gaming Willis, be sure to like that. And then Wiki Quick Links, that'll just give you all of the weapons in the game, sorted by primary, secondary, and type, you know, like shotgun, handgun, launcher. Um, then we got gear pages, and then we got all the other pages. Um, so it's kind of like a site map, just basically telling you where everything is, so you can the idea is that you can just avoid clicking through all the categories and the way it's sorted and just go right to the page you want. Um, but here we're just going to briefly go over all the weapons in the game. We'll just open all these in a new tab. So we got to start off assault rifles, obviously primary weapons, A500, AC30, AG10, CQR2000 Charlie, Far N, FM Bobcat Echo, and the Tab XI. So first off is the A500. We got A500 full details page, and now the text on each of these pages are kind of, you know, a, a definitely a work in progress, but I do have the pictures just kind of stubbed out right now. Um, so it'll go one to seven stars of the regular edition to start things off. And my idea is just to get a level one and a maxed max level version of each ranking um, so like we got six star level one and then we got six star maxed out level 35 out of 35 so that's just kind of how it goes down the line obviously some of the pictures are older this is what the weapons used to look like in the game they used to show you like reload um, I think that's the only other stat they took away the reload stat nowadays but then we jump into the veteran series and obviously like whenever you see this that just means that I either don't have the picture or haven't put it up yet um, I do have a collection of pictures locally that I haven't put on the server yet and that's just a matter of having the free time to, to do so but if you if you click any of these pictures you can open it in a new tab and it'll just bring you to the full picture which is pretty cool some of the pictures aren't the best quality. This one happens to be very good quality. It's a very clear picture of the A500 veteran. Scroll down, there's the seven star, looking pretty cool. Then we got the autumn edition of the A500. Uh, random one star A500 shamrock. They do exist, but I don't think we'll ever have stats of that. Not that it really matters, but there's a really nice picture of the four star. Rolling down, got the five star, six star, six star maxed, seven star thumbnail. Now I do have a lot of thumbnails saved up, which I will, you know, I'm, I'm gonna redesign the whole entire wiki. I'll, I'll make a brand new website basically. This is just, uh, you know, extremely basic, extremely easy setup right now. There's a seven star maxed out, that's pretty cool. And then at, at each page on this wiki, there's a Facebook comments plugin. I don't get notified when you post, but if I come across it, I will respond. I've responded to a handful of comments. There just happen to be zero on this page. So next we'll jump into the AC30. Once again, the text is a huge work in progress. Just starting off with the regular edition here. Scrolling through, scrolling through. A lot of missing ones. Got the veteran edition, a few of those. Then we got the AC30 dragon. I got a couple of those pictures. Definitely not a lot. This is what the weapons used to look like in the uh, like the previous stage, like you're not looking at it in, in your inventory. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> um, then we got the Nightcrawler AC30. Not the greatest pictures, a lot of older pictures. Then we got the Shamrock AC30. And once again, the comments. And we'll jump into the AG10. Um, the only series that I haven't added to any of these pages is the Patriot series. So. 
I'll be doing that shortly. There is a Patriot AG-10, as you've seen in my recent videos, posted two videos of the five stars Patriot AG-10. But that won't be on this page. You saw the regular, got the veteran, then we got the chrome edition. You see, I mean, some of the pictures are rough, but you know, it, it takes a lot of work to, to collect all these pictures and the worst part is just renaming them, you know? Like if I open this picture, you see, I mean, this is a website directory. Basically, I have to rename every file. Like this one is a CQR2000 Charlie at four stars. And then like a CQR2000 Charlie four stars maxed would bring us the four stars maxed. Um, so the hardest part is just because when I download these files, they're like image you know, underscore one, two, three, four, if they're from an Apple device or if they're from Discord, they download as like just random things or, or I think they download as the original image name, which pretty much most of the time since their screenshots are like image underscore, you know, some numbers, right? So the thing that takes the most amount of time and there's really no way to automate it is just renaming all these files, which is why I added these watermarks so, I mean, people could just download this entire directory and that would, that would basically make all the work that I've done renaming these files a complete waste of time. Um, so that's why I have the watermarks. Um, but here is the CQR2000 Charlie, got six stars maxed out, and these are old stats, something I should mention, very important. The current portability on the CQR2000 is 520, and this goes for all the weapons that have been buffed. Um, just be careful, you know, I still gotta go through and, and validate each of the, the weapons because the, the stats have changed on a handful of weapons. Um, but for the most part, this is generally relevant. Let's see, like here we got a comment, I responded to it. Now we'll jump into the far end. See, I didn't have any text going on here. I got most of these since I built my six star far end from scratch pieces. Still gotta add this one. I'll have a level one, just gotta add it. And eventually someday I'll have the maxed out, but I'm sure a lot of people aren't concerned with those stats. And once again, the far end has been buffed, like portability is different. I think it's 440 nowadays on the veteran. Yeah, there we go, 440. This one's updated. And we got the Dragon Edition. Once again, this will be 380 nowadays. Got that guy six stars maxed out. And we got the Far End Chrome. Some more good stuff there. And no comments on that page. Now the FM Podcast Echo, some rough text area. This one's pretty easy since it's an Echo weapon. There's only the six star, six star maxed, and seven star and seven star max. Obviously, you know, still kind of missing those. I need a six star max and I need a seven star level one to complete this. This was stolen from you done son's video. <laughs> Let's see, and then the last assault rifle, we got the Tav XI. Rough little text area, but I do have a lot of these since I built a four star out of one star weapons. You got the six star, and there's the seven star, and the seven star maxed out. No comments on that page. Then we'll jump into the LMGs, open those guys up. Then we'll have the SMGs. For LMGs, we got AGK 37, we got HMG 24 Alpha, we got KPK LMG Bravo, and the M349. For SMGs, we got the COM 36, the IZUG, the KPM 5. LSM7, Nox K, PPM19, and UNK CQB Charlie. Let's open up a few more of these here. So to start things off here on the LMGs, we got the AGK37. We got a rough text section. Then we got looks like the three star, three star maxed, four star, four star maxed. I built all of those guys. That was a fun journey. And we got the six star, and I do have like I have at least the, the level one seven star picture. You know, I got more of these to add. And then the veteran, I'm pretty sure I have all of the veterans up to five star max. So I will be adding those shortly. And that is it for the AGK 37. And we got the HMG 24 Alpha available from two stars and higher. So we start at two stars. We got the three star, the four star, the five star. 
and then we got the good old golden six star six star maxed out and this awesome looking seven star that would be really cool to have just for the sake of looking at it <laughs> um then we got a seven star level 20 maybe we'll get a maxed out picture in there someday then we got this atom edition uh, i know i have some more atom pictures so i'll be adding those then we got the KPK LMG Bravo available three stars and higher. Um, this picture is pretty old. We got the four star in there, the five star, another golden six star, and then the seven star. Can't remember, I think the portability nowadays is 320 on the KPK, so this is outdated. Um, then we got Shamrock. I got a lot of Shamrock pictures that I still gotta add. Then we got the M349. One star, two stars, three stars, five stars, six stars. That's a good picture. That's nice and clear. Then we got the veteran and the chrome edition, of course. Then we got the nightcrawler edition. There's a good picture. Nice and clear. And now we're going on to the SMGs. We got the COM36 to start things off. Six stars, seven stars. I know I have the seven star at level one. I'll be adding that picture. And then we got the Izu G. Pretty interesting weapon. Got that guy there. There's seven star level one. We got the KPM5. Four stars, five stars, six stars. There's a difference in graphics between certain devices. Some devices show it like very matte, I guess, and other devices show it really shiny. Although this is an old picture, you can tell by the stats setup, but your device can affect how the weapons look for sure. And we got the Veteran Edition. There's a lot of KPM editions. Look at that guy, seven stars, not bad. Got the chrome edition. See, once again, like this one's all shiny and this one's just like plasticky almost, you know? Once again, all shiny, shiny, nice six star. And then we got like a plasticky seven star. So device makes a difference. And we got the lovely nightcrawler. That's a rough picture. That's a rough picture. That's a decent picture. Six star. That's a good picture of the six star maxed out. And pretty good picture of the seven star there. We got the lovely LSM-7. Three stars, four stars, five stars, six stars. A lovely green color. Then we got a seven star in there and a seven star maxed out. Then we got the veteran. I got a few more of these to add. I got the two star, the two star max, the three star. I'm not, I'll have the three star max very soon. Um, I know I got the four star maxed picture that I gotta upload. Pretty sure I've seen a five star picture out there somewhere. And then we got our Knox K. Once again, I don't have the Patriot series added in here yet, but I have all the Patriot stats uploaded on my channel. Uh, PPM 19, four stars, five stars. There's a lovely blue six stars. And we got the seven star, little interesting camo. This is a pretty good picture here. Level 31 out of 40, not quite maxed out, but definitely up there. Pretty crazy that <laughs> someone spent that much time on a PPM 19, especially regular edition. And we got some veteran pictures thrown in the mix. There's a six star. That's pretty cool to see. Uh, then we got the chrome edition, of course. And I think there will be the Atom Edition. Yep, got a couple Atom pictures. Still got more to add for sure. There's a seven star. No comments there. On the UNK CQB Charlie, it is a Charlie, so it's from four stars and higher, which makes this job of collecting images a lot easier. Maybe I should just do all the weapons from four stars and higher. It's not like one to three stars even matter. Um, but it's cool to see with like the skinned editions, like veteran editions, one to three stars. I think those are cool to see. We got four star, four star maxed out, five star, five star maxed out, six star, missing a six star maxed out picture. I probably have one. I probably have a level one picture. This is level two. 
people seem to like this page. <laughs> Got a bunch of comments there. I happened to see them, so I responded. But moving on here, hopefully quickly enough, we got the shotguns, the Mar-12, and the Typhoon G-12. And remember, these are primaries. There are more shotguns down here in the secondaries. Um, so remember, it's sorted by primary, then secondary, with subheadings under those. Keep that in mind. Then we got our precision class sniper rifles. We got the M32, the MKL11A9, the RS300, and the SSV9 Delta. We'll let those load up as we look at these secondaries here. We'll go over shotguns real quick. We got AKSG12 Charlie, we got the Hydra 860 Charlie, and we'll see if we got this loaded yet. So starting things off here with the primary shotguns, we got the Mar-12 and missing a bunch of these pictures. I do have a lot of them, just gotta add them. You know, Mar-12 isn't really something you should even be worried about, other than the fact that it looks amazing at 7 stars. <laughs> then we got the Atom Edition to add into this, I'll have a few of those to add. Then we got the Typhoon G12, and of course this has a Patriot Edition now, which will not be in the wiki, but it will be soon. <laughs> It's not currently in the wiki, but it will be eventually. It's a good picture of the 6-star, a little rough picture of the 6-star. And then we just got this for the 7-star currently. Hopefully I'll dig up some pictures of those, add them in there. Then on to the precision class weapons. We got the M32, 1-star, 2-star, 3-star, 5-star. I'm sure I have a 4-star to add in there. It's not like that's a rare weapon or anything. 6-star gets this you know, black looking color. Um, seven star, I've seen a picture floating around as a seven star, I'll grab that at some point. The Nightcrawler, I completely forgot there's a Nightcrawler M32, that's hilarious actually. <laughs> I've never seen anybody use that, which I would not expect them to. Then we got the Veteran, I got a three star Veteran, so I'll add that for my own pictures. Hopefully nobody's working on building that, but maybe someday. You know, my long term plan is to build a seven star of every weapon, obviously, you know probably move on from the game before I do that but it's not impossible it would have been nice to know about the inbox glitch that would have really help things out <laughs> we got the MKL1189 here jump into the five star got the six star some outdated pictures here pretty sure almost all it if not all of the snipers have been buffed there's a seven star seven star maxed out not sure if these are still relevant stats at least they're gonna be close, but that's a very clear picture, that's nice. But I'm pretty sure all the snipers were buffed, so... I don't remember what's different off the top of my head, but anyways, we got the Veteran Edition here, the lovely 7-star. Then the Chrome Edition, obviously a lot of people got the 7-star of this guy, so I'm sure we'll get those pictures eventually. And we got the RS300, the graphics on this guy have been changed a lot. You see these are all old, looks a lot different nowadays, it's just like really, really, really shiny. We got the Veteran Edition, of course. I built the 5 star. I don't have it maxed out, this isn't mine, but I did build a 5 star of that guy. And then we got the Chrome. Once again, these are a lot different nowadays. It's a lot more shiny, but this looks very, like, plasticky. We got a 6 star. I'm sure there's a 7 star out there somewhere. Then we got our SSV9 Delta. Pretty easy since it's available from 5 stars and higher. Be nice to get a little better picture of that guy. Same with the six stars. I got a six star myself, so I'll I'll be adding that in there. Then the seven star. Could definitely use some better pictures there. But that is the SSV9 Delta. And we got the AKS G12 Charlie. Once again, a Charlie, so four stars and higher. The five star in there. Another five star. The six star with this lovely drum magazine. And we got the seven star. Pretty cool looking camo. And of course we got the Dragon Edition, missing all those pictures apparently. And lastly, for the secondary shotguns, we got the Hydra 860 Charlie. Once again, a Charlie weapon, 4 stars and higher. Got the 4 star, 4 star maxed out is missing, but I will add that shortly. Got a 5 star, 5 star maxed out. 6 star, don't have the 6 star maxed out. Although I can add that myself soon enough. Um, got the 7 star and missing the 7 star maxed out. I love this camo, it's a pretty cool looking camo. So let's see what we got left. We got handguns and launchers left. We're just going over the weapons in this video. We'll save gear and other pages for another video. Hopefully this video goes alright. Uh, but for handguns we got the HG29 Revolver Echo. 
We got the KG-18, MFX-9, MKR-3, PW-9, TK-7 Charlie, and then launchers, we got the AGL-660 Charlie, the MK-330GL Bravo, and the ML-20RL Bravo. Alright guys, starting things off here with the handguns, we got the HG-29 Revolver, we got the Echo Edition on top, once again an Echo weapon available from 6 stars and higher. We got an old picture of the 6 star there, another old picture of the 6 star there, uh, the 7 star here. 7 star looks very similar to the chrome, but the chrome is different, although we are missing some chrome pictures. <laughs> Definitely missing some there. And obviously the Patriot Edition, which I said I don't have any Patriot Editions up yet on this wiki. Then we got the best handgun in the game. We got a 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, 4 star, this and a 5 star apparently. Uh, 6 star, 6 star maxed. And we got the Nightcrawler Edition, there's lots of KG-18 editions. Got the 4 star of that, another 4 star. Or is that a 5 star? 5 star, yep. Um, and we got the 6 star, pretty good picture. Another 6 star, still need to crop that picture, that's funny. Um, and then we got the 7 star, it's a clear picture. And then we got the Chrome Edition, we got the 4 star, 5 star in there, 6 stars in there. Another 6 star, missing the 7 star, but I know a lot of people have the 7 star, so we'll get that eventually. Now on to the Veteran Edition. I'll be adding a bunch of these, I got those to fill in. Got the 4 star there, some clear pictures, that's pretty nice. Got the 6 star, that's a good picture. And of course, that's a pretty good picture, the 7 star. Let's see, yeah, if you click the pictures, by default, they'll open in a new tab. You don't have to do anything special. And I did that so you don't have to reload the page since all the weapons pictures are on one page it, sometimes it takes a while to load depends on your internet speed but we got the mfx9 next three stars four stars lovely picture there six stars and a seven star pretty cool looking gun there almost maxed out level 37 and we got the mkr3 perhaps the most useless handgun got a four star got the five star six stars and the seven star and we still gotta add the Atom Edition. Is there anything else? Veteran Edition. Seven Star looks amazing, but it's not. <laughs> and we got the PW9, this lovely guy. Kinda like a better MKR3. You know, it, you can play with the PW9, but it's nowhere near like a KG-18 or even the MFX-9. It's just not gonna do it. And we got the Veteran Edition. And lastly, little newer guy here, the TK7 Charlie. I'll be adding this picture. I'll be adding all these pictures actually, but we only got the four star and five star right now. And onto the launchers, just finishing up here. Charlie weapon, four stars and higher. So we got the four star, I'll be adding that eventually. Got the five star, five star maxed, six stars. Six stars, almost maxed. I'm sure someone's got that screenshot out there. And we got the 7 star, and 7 star max will be coming soon, hopefully. Stats wise, I'm not going to make one myself for a long time. Don't get it confused, guys. <laughs> uh, then we got the MK330GL. It is a Bravo, so it's available from 3 stars and higher. Got the 4 star in there, another one I need to crop, but that is a 5 star. Then we got the 6 star. You know, it's a, it's a rare occurrence of a 6 star having a camo pattern, as opposed to just like a solid green color or something. But then the 7 star gets this blue. Here's a really good picture. Apparently not watermarked. You gotta change that up. Then we got the chrome edition. Another one where some of them look a lot different than other ones. Some are shiny, some are very plasticky. Then we got the veteran. I got a few of those to add in, but obviously missing them here. Then we got this Atom Edition. I think I have a couple of these. Uh, we got at least a 7 star in there at level 1. And lastly, we got the ML20 RL Bravo. Once again, 3 stars and higher. Got 3 star, 3 star maxed out. 4 star, 4 star maxed out. 5 star, 5 star maxed out. 6 star, missing the 6 star maxed out. And missing the 7 star level 1. Uh, but then we got the Veteran Edition. We got this guy here. That was pretty cool. 7 star maxed out. If there's one picture I could have for each weapon, it would obviously be the 7 star maxed out. That would be the best stats to know, right? And then obviously we'll have the Patriot Edition. I'll add that shortly. But that'll do it for this video. Just showing you guys 
some of the Afterpulse wiki showing you every weapon in the game currently. And I'll be adding much more pictures as time goes on. You know, it's just something I do in my free time. I, I don't make any money off of this site or anything like that. So it's, you know, it's hard to justify spending a lot of time on it. Uh, but hopefully it helps you guys out there. And, you know, the more I, I hear people use it and whatever, the more I'm in, inclined to spend some time on it, you know, because it's really for you guys at the end of the day. There's only so much I can do with it, right? So hopefully you enjoy it. I just wanted to show you every weapon in the game, at least a few pictures of them. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. Got daily after pulse videos, plus a ton of other videos going on right now. Lots of other games being played. And yeah, that'll do it. And I will catch you on the next video.